Good morning, it's Monday, it's bank holiday, and it's the end of August. Can you believe that already? I oh, just don't understand how this, this year's gone so bloody quick. Another week's gone by, we've had lots of stuff come out, lots of stuff being announced, and a few slippages as well. We'll go through all that today as usual, and let me know in the comments down below what you're going to be buying. Now what actually has come out today? The Thomas Crown Affair. Now, there's been a couple of remakes of this one. This is the Pierce Brosnan one with Rini Russo in it. I've heard goodish things, but never actually got around to seeing this one. So, let me know your thoughts. Is it worth actually buying? But, personally, I wouldn't spend £17 on Pierce Brosnan. That's just me. Made in 1999, so I'll be 20 years old now. Didn't think it was that old, but it is. That's the first one. Something called War Pony, never even heard of this one. Only out last year, so I'll definitely have that go over my radar. Twelve ninety nine, so you yeah, if the price is lower, then it can't be too good, can it? Let me know your thoughts. That's come out today. The Sydney edition for Boogie Nights. Should have been 4K guys, totally missed it or the boat on that one. For H and B exclusive that came out today at twenty four ninety nine. It really, really, in my opinion, needs to have been a 4K to justify that kind of price. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know if, if you're picking that one up. The uh, okayish one, in my opinion, of Van Damme in Double Impact. That's come out today as well. It's one you want in your collection, you know, if you're a Van Damme fan or a martial arts boy. But, yeah, Bowley Young is the best thing in that, if you ask me. 1991, can you believe that? Over 30 years old. Damn. But uh, that's that's arrived today. Are you going to be buying that one? 20 quid? Pushing it. Has to be said. Hannah and her sisters. Now, is this is that... So I know Diane Weiss is now. Is this, I think Sigourney Weaver might be. Can't remember. Hannah and her sisters from 1986. Damn, that's the old one. 12.99. Good on the price. Getting that back catalogue out on Blu-ray. So that's worth a punt, I reckon. Team Wolf finally arrives, even though it has been out before, per se, you, you could have got a hold of it, but we have a 1599 Team Wolf, and then we got the double pack as well, but I still don't agree on 20 quid for the double pack, because the second film sucks dick, it's crap, so they should have made it cheaper in my opinion, The Postman Fights Back, 1982, a 41 year old martial arty farty film what can i say 16.99 there's some bloody good fights in this if you know your law definitely worth a look at that one time bandits gets a 4k release there's an old classic that's from 1981 but it could have been 20 quid but 21.99 yeah i think there's a select few people who are going to be a fan of time bandits but that's just me Vicar, that's an old boy as well from 1980. 20 quid, you're fucking dreaming. But there are, again, there are going to be some fans of that one out there. Everyone's favourite nonce, Woody Allen's Manhattan's being released today. Barely worth the 12.99 in my opinion. Yeah, it's supposed to be good, uh, a good artistic picture and all that bollocks, but it's Woody Allen. Nonce, nonce, nonce. Titted, fucking fried prick. Simple as. It's from 1979 though. I don't like tip. I don't like Woody Allen. The complete collection for the Flash with the ninth series being released now. The complete collection for seventy quid. Nine series. I don't think that's a bad punt, really. Especially when they're charging twenty nine ninety nine for the single series nine. For an extra forty, it's worth getting those other eight series. I reckon. I'm not the biggest fan of the Flash. Yeah, DC. Yeah, but there's going to be some fans out there. One that I thought was a waste of time. Is series one of Bel Air. I mean, Will Smith's uh, credibility is down the chute, if you ask me. And for 25 quid, you can keep it. But series one, it came out today. Another TV series called Hacks, that's arrived today. I had, I've heard about Hacks, but haven't even seen a trailer for it. So I won't pass any judgment because I really, really don't know on that one. Get ready for uh, losing all the teeth on this one. The Andre Zuglaksky. Free film collection. I haven't got a clue what films are, but £43.86. Stupid price. Why would you? Unless you really, really know that director. A bit weird. But these are films that are based from 1971 through to 86 or 88. So if you know the guy, you're going to know the guy. And last but not least, Black Summoner. Yes, uh, anime that actually arrived on time. 
the complete series for 40 quid so again price just never ever makes sense when it comes to anime but are you guys a fan of it because i don't know about it let me know is it any good unfortunately yes the worst slippages not as bad as last week i mean having half the release list not turn up was stupid but we got six this time crimes of the future it's uh a 4K Digibook, nice, 4K and Blu-ray, not hitting to the 11th of September now. I've heard of this film but not seen the trailer, so I'll reserve judgment until I've actually knew a bit more about it. Uh, Stephen King on screen, a nice documentary, it's supposed to be some really good interviews in that. 15 quid, mm -hmm. should have been a tenner, but it's not hitting to the 25th of September now, so you can cry over it a bit more really. Uh, it follows another one which is a good film with a 4k digi book 4k and blu-ray um, Quite where they get a 45 pound 99 price tag for the digi books way beyond me. You're wishing on that one um, But it's now hitting on the 11th of September as well Gun Buster believe it or not an anime that has slipped 39 pounds and 45 pence again stupid price not hitting to the 18th of the 9th so that's a painful one as well. Night, Night of the Hunted, a 4K and Blu-ray release there. Again, 18 for the night for that one. And Rape of the Vampire. Uh, 4K and Blu-ray release of that. Again, 18 for the night. So slippages keeps on coming. Next week, we are spicing it up. There's some really good stuff arriving. We're, we're only going to highlight five because you don't want to get you too excited. First... Fast X is arriving. The 10th film in the franchise. I still have not watched it. Lots of people have seen it in the cinema. I'm not wasting my money. I might try and watch it on streaming maybe. But it just doesn't sit too well with me. The still books, HB exclusive, of course, because it's happy a wankers who can't keep a contract to save their lives. But then you've got the 4K and Blu-ray as well. Let me know which one you're picking up, guys, because let's face it, we've all probably got most of the films somewhere. Mad Max Road Warrior, so that's the second one, which is the 4K Cine Edition. That's hitting HMV next week. Again, if you've got the first one, you're going to pick the rest. Jaws, the 4K Ultimate Edition, that even I think this is really nicely put together. Bloody expensive, uh, 50, 50 notes, but it's one of those films where it's, you just know if you give it a spit and polish, and a decent coverage and decent innards people are going to buy it and they have because it's sold out sizu now this book's fucking nuts you watch it go on youtube and look at the, the adverts for this this film looks absolutely fucking nuts 4k and blu-ray release of that coming out next week definitely looking forward to that and um, the other 4k spit and polish one as i call them is shawshank redemption another one of the top films ever made that arrives next week as well which of those are you going to be picking up, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, they're coming soon. We're looking good. There's some good shit coming, and I'm getting excited. There's a few definitely unexpected uh, announcements this week, which has surprised a lot of people, and everyone's pissing their pants about, so we'll get through that. And then tell me which one you're going to, are you going to risk waiting for a UK release, or what? Let me know. First, Elemental. Now, all this woke bollocks is really hurting Disney. Good, Disney, get your head out your own arse, you fucking idiots. Um, customer is king. End of the day, fuck off the customer, fuck off your profits. Simple as that. You're not the biggest entity in the world. If you're going to try and shove wokeness down our fucking throats, we're going to spend our money elsewhere. Especially if you're trying to cut physical media, you can go fuck yourself. You're already going to be putting Disney Plus up this month for another three quid. So you're taking the piss there. Listen to your customer base, otherwise you will go tits up. Elemental, we're getting a still book at twenty six ninety nine, and we're getting a Blu Ray sixteenth of October. If you want anything like this in four K, you're gonna have to hit America or Germany because we ain't getting it four K for some stupid fucking reason. I do like the colourful artwork though, very nice. One that surprised me, which a lot of people will go for, the Halloween trilogy still book set looks extremely nice. 80 notes pushing it but 23rd of october that's gonna start out straight away if you ask me as well one that i didn't think would get that much love from the reinventors but hannibal a good anthony hopkins film gets, gets get a 4k collector's edition at 45 quid 
bit painful. And we're getting a 4K steelbook for that one as well. Um, you, you're going to have to be an Anthony Hopkins fan to pay that kind of money, I reckon. But there's plenty of those out there. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, that one's hitting on the 27th of November. I'm glad this one's coming because the first one I do want to pick up some point, but I'm not, I don't want to pay a lot of money. Tremors was a classic film. Tremors 2 was not a bad sequel and we're finally getting the 4K treatment. A collector's edition of Tremors 2 for 35 quid. You can fuck off. I ain't paying that kind of money. But there is a, an arrow only sleeve as well for the 4K and a special edition Blu-ray. 27th of November for that one. Ooh, you can't just slap special on it and expect people to pay more. It needs to be a bit more substance in it, I think. We'll have to wait and see. One that definitely made me sit up and go, Ooh, Muppets Take Manhattan. It's getting a 4K release over in the US, which made me go, Oh, yes. 24th of October, will we get it over here? Let's hope so, because um, I love the Muppet films. They're classics. If they manage to do a more 4K, now, and by that I mean the originals. Keep your Muppets, keep your Muppet most wanted. Don't worry about them being a 4K, but all the rest, 4K, yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Let's see the baseball diamond and Miss Piggy flying through the air in her motorbike in 4K. That'd be fucking cool. Um, Trading Places, which is one of my favourite films ever, it's just classic, is getting a 4K release on the 7th of November. 26 bucks. So, yeah, I'm hoping they'll release it in the UK. I would wait to get it in the UK at that point, but... Classic film, deserves a 4K if you ask me. One that um, has been released a fair bit actually. So I'm not, even though I like the look of it, I'm not sure it deserves this. But Ip Man, which is Donnie Yen, is getting another steelbook. And it's got a fair few to be honest. Uh, the no, no price on it just yet, but it's out the 3rd of October. So struggling to understand the need for that one. But if you're a fan, you're a fan. What can I say? Now, these are the ones that made everyone sit up and go, ooh, hello. Firstly, WandaVision is getting a 4K steelbook release in America. Now, they're also getting Blu-ray releases, but they haven't really blurted out much about that. Same artwork and everything, but, you know, you're going to want it 4K, really, aren't you? That's hitting on the 28th of November. That Everyone was very excited about that one. The next one that made everyone excited? Loki! I love Loki. I think Loki's a classic one. Good series. Series 1 of that 4K Steelbook hitting on the 26th of September. Love the artwork on this one. Looking forward to Series 2 in October on Disney Plus as well. It's one that deserved the sequel series, definitely. And I'm looking forward to what how they put it within the Kang War, Disney and all that. And the one that really is getting people excited is The Mandalorian. We're having Series 1 and Series 2 4K Steelbooks. You can't not get excited about that. The Mandalorian is class. Even though I'm not the greatest Star Wars fan, but that is some good stuff. I love it. Um, they get 4K releases on the 12th of December. I, there's nobody I don't think who would want not want that. They need to get some UK releases or even European releases of this going and get get us some dates, guys. Don't just do it in America and be assholes and make them limited editions because that's just going to piss people off. You want to make money? Fucking release this kind of stuff to everybody. Do She-Hulk. Do the Winter Soldier and all that bollocks. You know. Get them all out there. We will buy them. Just don't fuck us over on the price. Um, another oldie that's getting a release as well, which did surprise me, Scrooged. Yes, Bill Murray. Funny as fuck. 7th of November, 26 bucks. I wouldn't buy that new. I'd wait for it over here in, in, in its CEX mould. You know what I mean? And last but not least, Weird A Yankovic story. I've seen the trailer for this about four or five times. Um... I think Daniel Radcliffe's done a good job of this. Didn't exactly set the box office on fire, but it's not about that when it comes to a film like this. I think he's now. I think he really nailed it. Definitely worth a look. Twenty uh, thirty six ninety eight. You're taking the piss on the fucking price. You can stick that up your ass. But it's hitting on the twelfth of December as well. Now that's all I'm actually going to say when it comes to releases or coming soon, because there's plenty more to talk about, and let's stretch this over a couple more weeks. This, to me, is a year which started quiet and is really piling up towards the end, which is a good thing. Especially when you get near Christmas, people are going to be excited. Yes, we are skint, but you're still going to buy what you're going to buy. What can I say? People want it. <sighs> Let me know in the comments down below what you're picking up this week and what you're going to be pre-ordering, because there's a few good ones in there. 
Zappi have had a couple of decent sales on. I'll give them that. Their prices have been a bit helpful. Uh, some of the Mission Impossible Steelbooks are actually twenty two forty nine on Amazon right now. So if you haven't picked them up already, you, you're going to say no to £7.50 off a title? Five and six haven't got any discounts just yet, but one to four have. So pick them up while you can, guys. What can I say? Because I I didn't fucking do it in the end. I'll cancel with Zabby. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll leave it at that for now. I look forward to reading all your comments, and we'll see what else is coming out this week. It's going to be a good month. September is looking rosy. What can I say? If you disagree with me, argue with me in the comments. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your night. And happy bank holiday, guys. Take care now.